Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I am going to be showing how to check your hard drive for errors in Windows 10. This method applies for earlier versions of Windows as well, and there are different ways to run this error checking utility. I'm going to do what I believe to be one of the easier methods for less experienced users. So first thing is first we're going to open up our computer settings so just on the start button just type in computer. And then left click on this PC which is a desktop app. Under devices and drivers select your main local disk. Most people it'll be the C drive. So right click on that. Left click on properties. left click on the tools tab and then there will be an error checking section in which you can check the drive for system errors left click on check here we can left click on scan drive now there is a different method to scan the hard drive that you can use a command prompt to access and that is definitely more in depth than this one but this should be a very general error checking program that you can use I'm just going to fast forward through this Okay, so your drive was successfully scanned and no errors were found. So if there were errors found and it was unable to fix them or you just wanted to see exactly what was found during the scan, you can just open up the event viewer. So just type in on your start menu, type in event viewer. should be a desktop app. The name of this application has not changed from Windows 7 or Windows 8. It's the same name. Probably even goes back to Windows XP. So if you open up the event view, I'm just going to blow it up full screen here so everyone can clearly see it. Just click on Windows just Live. Go on. And then under Name, next to Application, double click on Administrative. And you can see under Source, look for Check Disk. So C-H-K-D-S-K. And then if you left click on the little I button that says Information next to it, double click on that. It'll give you a log file with more information about exactly what was scanned and what was found. Tell you different file records that were processed and if there were any issues that were detected. And you can see it says no further actions required. And you can copy this log data as well and you could share it online or if you had to submit it somewhere you could do it like that. And you get a little bit more event information over here. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.